And remember one thing. Um, if you look, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said regarding one companion. He said, Bi'sa fulan. Why? Kana yaqoomu al-layl fatarakaha. He used to do qiyamu al-layl and he left it. Now, why is that a bad thing? It's, it's, uh, to leave an amal is a bad thing. The whole concept is when you have an amal and you stop doing the amal, what happens after that? That the nafs and your desires become very reluctant to do action again. Do you understand? If you've never performed the hajjud, then you will always have that thing, I want to perform the hajjud. But if you started performing the hajjud in a way that it made you really tired, really fatigued, it burnt you out, then it, in, your, 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 your system will be very difficult to convince to go out to hajjud again. Do you understand? That's why to leave an amal is, if you say, if you can't, one is a temporary start. Like I said before, hajj, umrah, you know, for one week, two weeks, I'm going to perform the hajj, you do like, spend almost the whole day in the haram. That's fine, because you only have that spend a small time. But when you have like a long-term plan, like, a, like every day, when you start doing something and it's so much and it burdens yourself and you can't maintain it and you leave it, what happens after that? It is very hard for the nafs and for the, to re-motivate it to come back onto the amal again. That's why it's very important to make sure when you start an amal, is this something you can maintain? You start doing mutala so much and then you get frustrated, your, your, your nafs and your soul and your mind gets frustrated with this, you stop doing it, then to come back onto mutala is very hard. So make sure you make gradual steps, incremental gains, incremental steps. Do you understand? So analyze your time, analyze your responsibilities, and be realistic in what you can do. And plan and bit by bit, remember steady is what will get you somewhere. Yes?